After their wedding, Amar Singh and Puran Devi moved to the Shimla Hills, where they were held in high regards by neighbors and acquaintances. The couple had their children, Mohan Singh and Shanti Devi, in their ancestral home in the village of Kankana. Both children received their education between New Delhi and Shimla. Both Mohan and Shanti proved to be promising musicians in their own right. By the age of 10, Mohan was already a much sought after performer at well known music festivals. On the night of December 27, 1927, when the whole family was gathered to recite hymns from the Holy Sikh Scriptures, Madan Singh was born. The family located to Lower Bazaar in Shimla, where young Madan grew up playing with toys like any other child and listening to his prodigious brother, Master Mohan, practice vocal scales. There was not a single concert where Master Mohan didn't receive a letter of commendation or an award. Family always traveled together for Master Mohan's concerts all over the country. This provided subliminal musical training to Madan. Legend has it that, as an infant, Master Madan even cried in traditional Indian musical scales called ragas. This was noticed by his siblings Shanti Devi and Master Mohan. At three years of age, without any formal music training, Master Madan performed an ancient Drupad style composition in Raga Mishra Kafi at his brother's concert in Dharampur near Shimla. For half an hour, he sang with skill that left the audience spellbound. All over the country, newspapers reported on Master Madan's debut performance. This is when his father decided to provide him with the formal training in music. बस दादा जी नो ऐना सी पे योना नो म्यूजिक देना शौक सी कि योना ने दोना बच्चे नो मतलब ऐना सिखाया अपने आप ये ना अच्छा तबला बजाने सी नो कि योना ने दो दो तीन तीन घंटे कर ले प्रैक्टिस कर ले अपने अपने आप ही कर दे रहा बिना किसी और तो कोई नाल नहीं से हम दादे चुनी बैठे हो ना ना आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट तो दो दो घंटे बजाई जाना पर उन्होंने तबला अपने आप ही लगे रहना करे थोड़े बजा करे बजा करे ओ 